Hello everybody, welcome back. Um, it's been a while, it's been since Christmas. Uh, but we're here with a new game, we're here with a new computer. Um, I got a new computer, it's not a laptop, it's actually like a desktop. Um, it took me about, <laughs> it took me like two days to build it, only because I had to help, uh, Lego had to help me like build it over like a call, over call. Because I don't know what I'm doing. <clears throat> but everything seems to be working. Um, I have two monitors now, not a, not a laptop and a monitor, I got two monitors. Uh, the only thing I'm waiting for is a new mouse, um, so I have like an old like wired mouse I'm using right now, but other than that, everything else is good. I think I sound good, I think the game looks good. I mean, one of my friends, or one of my friends, one of my co-workers at work um, suggested this game to me, and I played like the first like maybe like five minutes of it just to see if I liked it, and I did. So I'm gonna we're gonna go ahead and start a new game here and uh, get into this game here. Um, a lot more content coming <laughs> now that I have a good working computer. Uh, knock on wood. Um, everything else, I mean, work. Other than that, I mean, work's the only thing that might put me off with content, only because I have to work 40 hours a week. Um, so they have me like working almost every day. Uh, anyways, um, into the game. This is Control. Uh, something about the F, this is like, the main character is a lady, which is like the reason why I really want to play this game, because, you know, if you guys have been here, like, with my roleplay and stuff, how I usually like doing, um, female characters, this is like a perfect thing. Like, she reminds me so much of, um, Sarah, but it also kind of reminds me of one of Rachel's characters, um, Chloe. Um, so, let's get into the game. Yep. Okie dokie. Yeah, this thing's supposed to be like a really like trippy game. Um, but she's supposed to be like the head of the Bureau or whatever. Or something like that. I don't know. Something like that. She's a regular person and someone dies so it becomes the head. Oop. This is going to be weirder than usual. Can't be helped. You called me. So here I am. I know I shut you out sometimes. I'm always glad to hear from you. It's just that I get my hopes up. So many times it's led to nothing. I found nothing. It's like we live in a room and there's a poster on the wall. We stare at it, and we think that's the whole world. <clears throat> the room... ...and the poster. The picture's something nice. A landscape, a famous person. Like in that movie... Ugh, what is it called? The prison movie. The room's a cell, <clears throat> and the picture, it's... ...different. For each of us, it can be beautiful. Oh, viewer discretion is advised. Terrible. <laughs> but we're all transfixed. But it's all a lie. Something to distract us from the truth. They're lying to us. We're lying to ourselves. The room's not the world. The world is much bigger and much stranger. There's a hole hidden behind that poster that leads to the real world. We all feel safe in that room. But sometimes, sometimes something crawls out from behind the poster. And the ones that see it happen freak out and try to forget what they saw. I'm here. Why did you bring me here? Okay then. Hello. So this is the main character, Jesse. Anyone here? Um. Ye. Move that over a little bit. There we go. Uh. Da, 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 da. Like I said, I did play like the first five minutes of this, so I kind of know what to do already. Go over here to this. 
go ahead and read this paper here. It's a collectible <coughs> correspondence. See, this is with the Federal Bureau of Control, of course. We just entered the building. Uh, reminder, certain objects are not allowed inside the Bureau. Recent uh, incidents have necessitated an issued reminder on prohibited materials. So unauthorized weapons, pagers, laptops, smartwatches, smartphones, smart gaming devices, anything smart, <laughs> um, number two pencils, and uh, any objects considered iconic representations of that word. Our typical concept, like rubber ducks or ketchup bottles. Um, all material under bureau investigation is to be brought in through the private entrances. If you see any lobby personnel in breach of these policies, please notify your supervisor immediately. So, yeah. Uh, so this is that's like a paper, because this looks like the end stuff. Like, you come in and, like, they check your bag and stuff. Uh, and if you go, yeah, I don't, I don't remember if there's anything in here or not. But look at that. Internal lockdown in effect. Building in lockdown. I don't know why the building's in lockdown. I haven't got that far yet, but I was like, oh, okay. Building's in lockdown. Cool, cool. Um, I don't think there's anything over here. No. Let's go upstairs. Wee. Boop, boop. Boop, a doop, boop. Another paper. Collectibles. Research and records. Yeah, these ones, they have like a lot of black spaces, so you can't see. So it's uh, by the accounting department, and it's ordered by some dude named Zachariah. Uh, so major, uh, let's see, expender summary. Uh, major stuff would be staffing, surveillance, something. Data center initiative, construction, and something, and something. And then minor would be office equipment, janitor costs, something. Mold removal, and HQ liability costs. For breakdown sheet, page 5 for 5 year comparison. Well, I can't see those pages, sir. Let's go over here. This seal. I saw it a long time ago. Mm -hmm. I keep seeing it in my dreams. Okay, why are you seeing it in your dreams, Miss Lady, ma'am? It don't make any sense to me. Who we got here? We got, uh... Head of Research, Dr. Cas... Ah, there we go. Casper Darling. You got a weird mustache, my guy. Uh, anything over here? No. Then we got Mr. Janitor Man, which I'm not even gonna try to say his name, because, no. <laughs> and then we got Mr. Uh, director here, Zachary. Oh, so Zachariah is the director. Uh, okay. I understand. Here's the bedrooms. Bedrooms. I didn't want to get too much into the lore the last time, so I didn't worry about looking at stuff too much. Wait a minute. This just got Federal trippy. Federal Bureau of Control. The only reason why I say that All is... All these years I've been looking for them and they were hiding in plain sight. Um, do, do, do. Okay, but look at this. Okay, who... Who needs pistachios as big as my head? Like, how many pistachios? There's probably only like three pistachios and the rest is air. We got crackers and pretzels and fibers and protein trail mix and potato chips like what kind of generic off-brand 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 is that like oh my god uh, what do we got here okay we got another paper it's going to be another correspondent <coughs> let's see oh okay uh can i not be so thick thank you so blank a shark in his blank, although secure blank, permission to blank, following basic protocol blank, shoot to kill blank, good luck. Attention all blank. What? Well that gives me so much information, thank you. Um, what's on this board here? What have we got on the board? Some stuff, a confidential paper. Cool. And there's Jada the guy. That scared me the first time. Collectibles. What do we got now? Hey. There we go. So two executive sector staff from admin subject R4 reports due soon. 
Okay, as you also know, our four reports done by the end of the week. We're still working on them for a number of people. If you are an extension, please request for an R4.E for your supervisor. If you think that you're exempt for filing an R4, then you'll need to get written permission from your department chief saying so. Remember, R4s are mandatory under Section 75.2 of, of the Employee Manual. If your R4 requires inner departmental claims, then please contact the appropriate department head, Ms. Dr. Dialing, Ms. Marshall, or Mr. Salvador or Mr. Kirkland <coughs> as needed. They'll be busy on Thursday in their annual policy review, so please schedule accordingly. Best your admin team. Okay, let's go see Mr. Janitor Man. Hello? I don't think there's anything in here. Let's go talk to Mr. Janitor Man. Mr. Weirdo. Hey, okay. excuse me. There you are. You are here about the job. Oh, janitor's assistant. You need to go to the interview. Go that way to the elevator. Thanks. Elevator that way. Got it. Very good. I'm Ahti. The janitor, by the way. You work for me. You can say I sent you. If they don't hire you, Element. There be work for the axe. Take them behind the sauna, you hold. I've done enough night shift loner jobs to know it makes us come off weird. Ati the janitor is a friendly face in my book. Better than somebody with no face at all. <laughs> Think about it. No face. But Was... that said, I know what you're thinking. If there's an axe murderer around, that's him. Okay, now you see what just happened? You, you see what, you, you understand? How we were just down there and we went up that way? And we went somehow and we got over here? But this is also the same door? It, <clears throat> the one thing that he told me, my coworker told me, was that this thing is like a non-ending labyrinth. So like, it'll always like add new sections, so it looks like you're always going the in circles. And that was and just a circle poster. too. I was 11 years old the first time I saw behind the poster. This is where I stopped. They so told me I imagined it. I've been trying to pull it down ever since. Will you help? And now we start the credit sequence. Yeah, so this is as far as I got <clears throat> after these credits. We you stop at an elevator. That's where I stopped right there at the elevator because I didn't want to go too far into this without doing stuff. So I'm I'm ready for this game though. Like it looks really fun. So I'm gonna go and watch these two of these credits. Um, Cause I don't think any of you would want to see through this. <laughs> stay just in case and bam did i lose you there for a moment yeah you, you know what's on my mind my baby brother dylan 17 years since the men of this bureau took him this is with you will be real another paper mission Jesse Faden arrives at his oldest house. The headquarters of the Transit Administrative Okay. Um. Okay, so reminder redrafting any public facing material. While pinning any notifications of death related to the Willow AWE, please add here for the following guidelines. First, words and phrases to use. In service of his or her country, regret. Proud and pride will be remembered. Oof. Words phrased to avoid. Alaska, scissors, blood and bled, loss and apologies, sorry. You know, Alaska. Gotta love good old Alaska. 
Uh, what is this? Can I go in? Can I go in? Can I go in? Okay, I guess not. And let's go in here. Hello. Anything in here? Hello. Okay, what about this other door? Hello. Anybody in this one? Anything? Nothing? Okay. Okay, there's something over here. What are you? What are you? Oops, wrong button. And yeah. Monk. Non official. Barbara! I am not to be disturbed. Cancel all my appointments for the for the day. For the rest of the week, I cannot trust it. Barbara, not a single one. Trench. Okay, so we got a Barbara. <laughs> Oh, I know exactly what that was because we just saw it. It was the gun. Oh, okay. I'm still looking around, buddy. Okay, let's go. Hey. Shit. Oh, he did. Shit, shit, shit. You want me to pick it up? The murder weapon? Really? No, that's all I want is a gun. That's a really close up of your eyes. And there goes the poster. Objects of power can cause or be results of AWE's altered world events, intrusions upon the perceived reality. Now, the service weapon is, of course, a prime example of an OOP, a very powerful one, ingrained in the Bureau's DNA, a key component in our prime candidate program. Come out of that Russian roulette a winner, and you, <laughs> you're it. Oh, look at this place. Where am I? What? What the? What? My head hurts. I mean, I know this thing was gonna be trippy, but like... We're just gonna run. Just gonna run. Oh god, can't run. What the? Oh, melee. Okay, I see. What the donkeys? The same gun. What? I don't like games like this because it's like, uh, <laughs> I mean, I love them, but I just hate them. 
Let's direct him in. Something's coming. Oh, dang it. This threat. An attack. Duty as director. Keep the Bureau safe. Mm hmm. Did you hear that? It's the dead man. Right after the pyramid spoke to me, and it was just noise, and I understood every word. What? And this gun's alive. You know what? I'm happy. I'm happy to be here. Hmm, look, blood. Mm, oh, Things have quieted okay. down outside. Is it safe to go? Would it not be safe to go? Oh. Oh god, there's a whole map. Oh god. Okay. Whoa. Okay. Officially hate the game. You can't let this happen. What's happening? You can't let this happen. 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 He said this game was tripping. They said the game was trippy, they weren't lying. You stopped it. <laughs> you... Oh, thank you. <clears throat> that was... Horror. No. Oh, it's health. So I can't do that. The hotline. What? Secure line of communication. Okay, we got another guy right there. Guide us. Oh, schnoz. Drop health. Yeah, I figured that. Okay, we got a new something. Oh, we got a bunch of new things. Okay, research and records. This. Oh, it's a picture of the man. He looks so real. Huh. Okay. Okay, what else we got here? Case files. Service weapon. No card. Okay, the object form is variable. When bound, the object allows perturbative to blank. This object must only be bound by individuals seeking the role of blank. <laughs> the object will determine whether blank. If rejected, the applicant is terminated. This process is, di is dictated by the blank, though their criteria is unknown. Background. The object was discovered in the oldest house in the room that is now used as the director's office. The popular hypothesis, blank, many forms throughout history, blank, Molnir, exab, exab, yeah, <laughs> that word, that word, all weapons that blank of their wielders. Yeah, Molnir, that's uh, Thor's weapon, the hammer, the other thing, the thing, <clears throat> you know. Um, <clears throat> the objects of power are the convergence of forces based in the collective subconscious, and then may be the origin manifest of that event. 
if this is the case, blink. Cool. Multimedia. Object of power. Objects of power can cause or be results of AWE's altered world events. These are real people. Upon the okay, that's reality. cool. They Sorry. actually got real people to do this. Remember to cover their connection to the astral plane as well. Now, the service weapon is, of course, a prime example of an OOP, a very powerful one. Ingrained in the Bureau's DNA, a key component in our prime candidate program. Come out of that Russian roulette a winner and you, <laughs> you're it. Lose and you're well fired. Thank you. I'm Dr. Darling, head of research, Federal Bureau of Control. Okay then. Great. Don't like that. I knew this game was gonna be scary. What the fuck? Okay. Six I like how we went this way before, but we've also not went this way. I don't know, let's explore a little bit while we're here. <coughs> okay, we got another paper. Collectible correspondence. This way. Oh, it's another. Uh, dinner res reservations at 7 p.m. at Ches Embre. Uh, wife, meet you there. Don't be late. Flowers are ready for you at the lobby reception. Remember, she's turning 46. How rude. Didn't even remember your wife's birthday. An unanticipated building shift. Follow <coughs> these simple steps. One, search the room for any altered items or objects of power. Two, mm -hmm. carry the altered item or object of power to the nearest safe room. Three, uh -huh. wait for bureau staff to find you and the object. <coughs> if there are no altered items or objects of power in the vicinity, then, reach your supervisor via the nearest intercom and await further <coughs> instructions. Okay. Thank you for your attention. Okay. Now let's do this. Oh. Reminder. Okay, if you so that's the same thing. I thought there was going to be like a video with it. Oh! What? That's me. That That's me. Look at that. Wow. Would you look at that? Hmm. Cool. I don't like all these talking stuff. Classified. Not no more. Executive meeting minutes. Rising costs of uh, AWE response. Update on mold irrigation efforts. Upcoming annual salary review. New supplier and coffee filters to be found and bedded. Please come prepared. Thank you for your time. Cool. <coughs> Nostrils are not doing it today. Oh. He's not even like hung. He's just like floating. That don't make any sense. Of course, I don't think anything makes any sense. Why? Why? Uh, yeah, I'm not gonna question it. <clears throat> there is a door back there, though. Okay, mm so we have that door and that door. Let's do this one. Okay, warp 
paperwork, or whatever that thing is. <coughs> okay, Marshall's eyes only. I'm a Marshall. Bink, bink. Okay. Um, Marshall, we've checked out the suspended AWE in Duluth. Wasn't anything. Just like the fire house fire before this, and the malfunctioning clothes dryer before that. My team's getting pretty sick of duds. We need to find a better way to sort of fake AWEs from real things, or you need to rotate these field agents off for a bit. Anyway, we're en route to Sherman Ranch, next one on the list. Let's hope there's a little livier there. Sincerely, Special Agent Keenum. Huh. Okay, so I can close the door if I wanted to. What is this? Okay, apparently I got more reading material. Oh, clearance level two. Cool. Hang on here. Oh, no. But I can close the door if I want to. <coughs> I don't know what that is, I'm just gonna keep going. Okay. Yep. Hissing sound that tried to invade me earlier. Hiss, burrowing into everything <laughs> in this place. I'm stuck in a Is box. The hiss, your enemy? Oh my god. All right, it's our enemy. Oh my god. Okay. <clears throat> Visitor evaluations. How to handle unscheduled lobby visitors entering the lobby? Start with the following. Welcome to the Federal Bureau of Control, established in 1964. Hey, that's when my mom was born. As part of an effort to strengthen government relations, we are here. We are proud to serve the United States and her people, as we th as we strive for transparency and excellence in all aspects of our esteemed nation's infrastructure. If they do not leave, ask them these questions: Are you here to see someone? Are you from New York City, or are you from New York City, or just visiting? How'd you find this place? If their answers are some. Significant, significantly harmless, explain that this is a secure federal office and they'll need to leave. If their answer seems blank, escort them to the private room there where the gunner's psychology assessment, assessment. If the responses are within the acceptable range of deviance, sit the provided scoring sheet, then blank immediately. I'm guessing that means kill. Um, remember, there's no such thing as too suspicious. Okay, can that I get babble's this? contagious. It burrows in like oh an infuriating God. melody that makes you hum it over Thank and over. Thank you. I had a freaking thing stuck to me. Um, urban legends. Okay, there's a lot of reading in this apparently. <clears throat> Summary: Urban legends are believed to be to affect the creation of altered materials, but it can also dictate the characteristics of an altered world event. Urban legends are understood as a modern evolutions of Jung's architect ar archetypes. We recognize certain blank informed by our own blank and popularized by our own media. We have additionally proven that urban legends can be artificially blank in popular culture using blank. Our bureau made an anthology television program. Once the seeds are sown, uh, human imagination exacerbates the details. <laughs> Certain paranatural phenomenon can or contain clear elements of popularized folklore, AWEs that can only occur on blank, a pair of scissors that can consume human blank through the two punctures of the blank. What? <coughs> These details living on the minds of so many have been given strength through belief. Urban legends are not just stories for children. They are paranormal realities waiting to happen. Refer to file 493-6942 for full report. I'm not going to do that. <coughs> mm. Anything else over here? Oh my, are you okay, ma'am? Hmm. Okay. What's over here? Hello? There's something over here? What is these? <laughs> because I don't want to get copyrighted. Um, okay, before we go on any further, I'm going to go ahead and stop right here. Uh, that's going to be it for the first episode. Um, mostly because, like, uh, I don't want to, I don't want these episodes to run too long, and it looks like we're about to get into something, like, 
I don't know if we actually are or not, but I'm not gonna like make the video go on any longer. So other than that, uh, I hope you guys did enjoy. I hope you guys want to see more of this series because I really this is actually kind of fun so far. Like I think I'm gonna name her Sheila. How you doing, Sheila? Actually, no, she looks more like Michelle. How you doing, Michelle? Um, anyways, yeah, this is gonna be it for this one. Uh, if you guys want to see more, make sure you guys hit the like button, subscribe if you are new. Uh, some things, um, I'm getting back into GTA roleplay with 5M. Um, we actually just did a winter field day, which is gonna be in the regular field day video in June. And, uh, other than that, a lot of stuff to come. So, hope you guys stick around, I hope you guys want to see more of this series, and I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye!